This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 61 of Horse Tip Daily, a different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's topic is sponsored by the Horse Radio Network. The Horse Radio Network is the largest equestrian radio network in the world. Visit horseradionetwork.com. Enjoy today's tip. I am Glenn the Geek, back with you from Lexington, Kentucky, and welcome back to Horse Tip Daily. Well, today we have back with us Megan Aro. Megan is one of the leading authorities on animal massage in the country. Megan wrote the book, The Horse Lover's Guide to Massage. She also wrote the book, The Dog Lover's Guide to Massage. Megan is a licensed massage practitioner for animals and people and a professional educator with a master in teaching degree from Seattle University. Prior to her current bodywork career, Megan worked in schools and with horses and enjoyed teaching therapeutic riding for children and adults with disabilities. The therapy horses, as well as their own animals, were her original motivation for learning massage. And we'll be right back with Megan after we speak a little bit about the opportunities available here at the Horse Radio Network. If you run any type of business in the horse world, from the smallest to the largest operation, then we have an opportunity for you. As we all know, the magazines and traditional print media are having difficulties and people are not reading them like they used to. They're getting their horse news and equine entertainment in different ways now. That also means that your expensive print ads are not doing as well as they have and you are looking for alternatives. We have one of those alternatives here at the Horse Radio Network. We have ad spots available on many of the shows and they are effective and affordable. Our listeners are the most tuned in of the horse world. They are the largest demographic. They are really the target demographic that you are trying to reach. For a fraction of the price you are paying for that magazine ad, you could be joining our stable of happy advertisers here at the Horse Radio Network. Drop me an email at glenn at horseradionetwork.com for more information and rates. Now on to Megan Arrow. Well, hi, Megan. Welcome back to Horse Tip Daily. We do appreciate you stopping by again. Hi, Glenn. Yes, thank you very much for having me. You know, I never thought before I met you that uh, animal massage or massage in general could be so fascinating. It It is. I think it is. I, uh, I've been doing it for about eight years now, and it just gets more and more interesting. Now, how did you learn? What, how did you get to where you are today? I um, first, well, first I saw somebody who had just gotten trained um, to do it, and um I just thought it looked like a really great thing for any serious horse person to know something about, and it looked like a lot of fun. So I asked her where she'd gone, and I and I went and took the same class she had, which was in Virginia, a week-long course. And then I just never stopped going to school, basically. And that was <laughs> <I> just, it. <laughs> yep. Yep. I and, just keep and taking And now you've written and books, and you it. have a website yep. and all kinds of cool materials on it, and I think that's neat that you found something that you're passionate about, and you're doing it. Yep. Yeah, I think so, too. Well, what are, you, what, what, uh, what are we going to talk about in the world of massage today? Well, today I wanted to talk about the uh, jaw muscles. All right. The jaw muscles on your horse's cheeks. Um, they're called masseters. All right. Um, so the big, the biggest round portion of your horse's cheeks um, are um, padded. The bone there is padded with this masseter muscle that is for chewing. That's sort of the long thing that goes down the side there. The, the, yeah. The, the bump. <laughs> I don't know how to describe yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The big rounded part under the horse's eye. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. There's other there's other jaw muscles for the forward and, and cheek and lip muscles also, okay. but this this is the sort of the in, well on a draft horse sort of dinner plate size right I, I <laughs> rounded had, part I had of the jaw. Yeah. so they were sort yeah. of dinner plate size. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, these muscles obviously work quite a bit because the horses spend a lot of time chewing, but then um, uh, and and they're well suited for that and prepared for that but then when you do talk about you two things one is uh the bit you know with reins depending on what's going on with the rider's hands and this can be you know in some cases the riders either intentionally or unintentionally pulling or just having tension on 
on one or both reins. Um, that has a huge impact on the horse's jaw muscles and the balance of the joint that the that those muscles cross, which is that um, a lot of people might have heard of TMJ, which is temporomandibular joint. Right. So people talk about having TMJ problems um, themselves, so pain in the jaw joint, and the horses have the exact same joint and can get the same kinds of problems, um, but for slightly different reasons. <laughs> but basically an imbalance of tension in the muscles over time is what's going to lead to problems in that joint. So um, rider issues, and again, sometimes it's the rider intentionally or unintentionally pulling on something, um, or it could be um, the horse pulling. Too, some you know horses if they tend to hang on the right. Right, I had a pony or, that hung on. She yeah. pulled. She pulled the cart with her reins. Yeah, uh, with the exactly. reins. Never used the traces <laughs> at all. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So their uh, their uh, jaw muscles can get um, pretty good in need of massage, and then also after they have had dental work, can be a really good time to uh, that the muscles will be sore and needing some massage. And this is going to affect, too, the, how they wear their teeth. And it can go in either direction. They can they can have, you know, some jaw problems and therefore brace against the rain or bracing against the rain creates it. It doesn't, you know, chicken and egg kind of thing, as so many things are with this kind of work. It doesn't really matter which one it started with, but one's going to create the other. And same with uneven wear of the teeth. If they have... The, you know, where they're developing the points and they need dental work, um, that throws off the balance of the joint, which affects the muscles around the joint. Okay. And then at the same time, if you have the muscles out of balance because of other things, then they're going to put the joint out of balance, and then they're going to, that's going to lead to uneven wear of the teeth as well. So it can, that also can go in. Now, what do you do directions. then to do the massage there? Okay. So uh, lots of different things you can do. The simplest would be to, um, if your horse doesn't object to having their cheeks held both at once, which some horses will love and some horses might feel worried about having their their head contained that way. Right. But if you can just place both palms and fingers, you know, full surface on that area, one on either side of their, you know, standing next to the horse facing the same direction that your horse is. Right. And then one hand reaching under their jaw to the other side, and then the one hand on the same side that you're standing on. You just basically hold their jaw gently and breathe. And if you do that for a minute or two or several minutes, it's many horses will just really get a strong relaxation effect and just really so all you're doing is holding it then all you're doing is holding it okay yeah yeah you can also take your um couple finger pads maybe your index and middle finger together and just with the finger pads you can um do uh little compress in and do little tiny circles all around the border of the jaw bone and anywhere in the middle of the muscle as well. Just these little compressions. If you imagine each time you compress in and then release, if you think of it as a little, um, as a sponge that you're compressing into, squeeze some of the dirty water out and then release it, let fresh water flow back in. That's really actually basically what's happening. It's okay. not just a metaphor. <laughs> right, right, right. So you're helping, because when the, when the jaw muscles work hard, and they create waste products from their contractions. Those waste products are more acidic, and they cause some muscle soreness. So you actually are, by stimulating the circulation that way and squeezing, doing little compressions to squeeze fluids through, you actually are flushing it so that it becomes less acidic and, and uh, therefore more comfortable and healthier. All right, good. Yeah. So that's something I didn't know. I didn't know that was an area that you should concentrate on. Mm-hmm. 
Well, that's great. Well, and where can people learn more about what you do? And, and actually, I know you have a lot of resources that can help them really get a little bit of a start on massage on their own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, my books, um, One for Horses, One for Dogs, They part one is sort of about how massage works and um, why horses need massage, uh, finding a professional, things like that. And then part two is all teaching techniques and lots of photographs, color photographs, um, showing each technique. Each technique also I'll describe, you know, variations you can do and how to put the techniques together into a session. A um, little bit about anatomy with each technique just to make it, um, you know, more clear about why why you're doing that technique. Right. So a little bit of anatomy that applies to it. Um, right. So those are those are available on the website and in Amazon. And that's the web. The website okay. is allaboutanimalmassage.com. Okay. And the book's name is the Horse Lover's Guide to Massage. And it's what only... your horse wants you to know. Fourteen or fifteen bucks, right? Yeah, fourteen ninety five. Which is reasonable. I mean, that's 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 very reasonable for you know. It used to be that horse books were you couldn't buy a horse book for less than forty bucks. Yeah. And, and I'm just glad to see now that uh, books are becoming more affordable for people. Yeah, and these books just got awarded highlighted title from independent publishers. Wow. For their, Does for that their mean they get to the top of the list? Pretty. Yep. Yeah, I'm on. Yep. Yeah. That's Pretty good. Month. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Well, then uh, we encourage everybody to stop over to allaboutanimalmassage.com. And Megan will be back with us again sometime soon with another tip and, and how to safely uh, massage your horse. Megan will be back with us periodically with more massage tips. Be sure to check out her website at allaboutanimalmassage.com. There's lots of good information over there. Well, I do have an email for you today. Today's email was really a a message on Facebook on Equestrian Collections fan page over there. They have one of the most active fan pages on Facebook right now with almost, I think it's over 9,000 going on, 10,000 fans. And uh, Casey Schuster said, I really like the Geek Shows, thanks. Well, we appreciate that, Casey. We, we really like doing them, so we're happy to bring them to you. If you'd like to leave us a message on Facebook, you can go to Facebook and just search for Horse Tip Daily. We have our own fan page there. Or search for Equestrian Collections and get involved in one of the largest communities on Facebook for the horse world. And that's right at Equestrian Collections site. There's lots of good conversation going on over there. You can also drop me an email at glenn with two N's at horseradionetwork.com. You know, don't forget to check out all the other great shows on the Horse Radio Network. We do many of them, and you can find all of those at horseradionetwork.com as well. Well, I'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, stay safe, everyone.